I'm Mutt Wilson here at Brandon and Kluge in St. Craig Falls, Wisconsin. I'm going to give a little demo today on a 14 by 22. It has a couple of new features, uh, the heated platen and the adjustable dwell system, patent tender. Uh, the last time I did a demonstration on this, I used the adjustable dwell feature to show you how to get a lot more soil coverage because it'll stop on impression, transfer your foil, and shorten your make ready time. Today we're doing a die cutting job. We've got lenticular lens, covered sheets, polypropylene backer, very thick. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is hit one without the heated flatten and then while it's heating up I'll talk a little bit more. Turn the heated platen on. I'm also going to warm up my die cut rule a little bit. I think I've got the platen at like 120 degrees is all. And how I started setting up this job. I measured how thick the stock was. It's like 22,000 thick. So I just took a poster. That's about 10,000 sticks. Fold it in half, put it in there, die cut. Because it's an old die, I ended up having to do a little spot make ready until it cut two sheets of paper clean all the way through. Once I got it die cut into two sheets of paper, then I put one of the sheets, the real sheets that we're doing, with a lenticular lens on there. And as you can see, it's probably a little bit more tonnage because it's a lot harder stock. But all it did is it may be cut through the lens, but it doesn't it hasn't cut through any part of the backer. So instead of packing it harder and harder and harder to get it to cut through this material, we're gonna run the heated plot. You can see temperature on the heated plat is 120 degrees and I'm just warming up the blades to 150 so it'll just take a few minutes and as far as the make ready goes we've got a few minutes it's going to turn into a little bit of a make ready class too what I did is put a spot sheet, the same material as I was die cutting, on top, and I laid carbon paper on top of it, good old fashioned carbon paper. Tape the spot sheet down, put carbon paper over it, put another sheet of paper over the top of it, mark the edge of the paper so when I go underneath the plate, I know where my cutting rule is. Well, you can see I had a little bit of a low spot, so I did just a little spot make ready. And maybe these blades weren't cutting through the paper now that I was die cutting. I had a little low spot here, so there wasn't much to the make ready. So that's just carbon paper, rolled it closed by hand, let the sheet of paper on top of the carbon paper trace out where my cut rule is. Put your spot sheet back underneath your die cut plate, and your piece of tape on the edge. same stock and just folded it in half, taped it on top of the flat and pulled an image and then I could see where I needed more pressure. Once I've got the die level to the flatten, 
that's when I went through and hit the real sheet with zero cutting. Once I let it warm up to 120 degrees, which you'll see here in a few minutes, we're at 100 degrees now, the very first sheet cut through. Now, it's possible this die is clean cut around the outside border of this. There's no ties in it. So it's possible when the delivery drags, they might fall off. It depends on your finished customer if they want clean cuts or if they can put up with a little nick to hold the sheet together to hand strip it later. These little diamonds in the center, they do have ties. They won't fall off. There's a little tie on each side. Another feature of the adjustable dwell, or another thing you can use the adjustable dwell for, is if these sheets are actually personalized or numbered and you don't want to waste them, you don't want to have a misty drop a sheet in there and waste that and have to wait for the print, printer to print the one sheet to get it back in order. So that's where you can use the adjustable dwell. You can make the machine stop anywhere you want. It doesn't have to stop on impression to transfer foil. Your operator can actually stand here Once you turn the adjustable dwell on, you can get it to stop for, yes it made it to the platen band, yes the side guy is going to register and let it run. If it's not going to register, you just hit the stop button and clear that sheet. So this is just another way of using the adjustable dwell feature. keep your production up. So I'm just waiting for the temperature. It's cold, but I want it to be right. I'm also actually running this machine here at the factory with the safety gate bypass so we can see better. Not quite up to temperature, but I'm going to try one anyway. If it doesn't cut clean through, then we'll, uh, we'll wait another five minutes. You can hear by the big crunch, we cut through the polypropylene. talking about if you had ties in here you wouldn't have they wouldn't be falling all over. But in the time that it's taken us to do this video, we just did the make ready on a very difficult job. So that big crunch noise you heard is what you want to hear. You actually cut through the lenticular lens through the polypropylene backer and even with the thighs and even the little tag holder. So we went from this not cutting through at all anywhere in a five minute video just turning on the heated platen there's your matrix.